the summary of drugs which I had talked about. This is important because two times MCQ have been asked on these in NEET super speciality. If you look at NEET assessment, actually they have not asked about the management of shock much. They have talked about the drugs in them. So important pediatric drugs which you are reading. I have tried to cover some of the key points of those drugs in all the videos I have taken. But as serious aspirant, all of you should be clear that in NEET SS exam, there will be two, three drugs which will be asked in your exam. Some of them may be atypical, so you can't really prepare for them. But some of them will be the drugs you will be using on a regular basis. So drugs like um, methotrexate in GIA, what is the dose, what are the side effects. Drugs like um, all these shock management drugs, common antibiotics, cephalosporin, etc., digoxin. So they are minimum dose, one line mechanism, most common side effect. At least these things you should remember. Uh, you'll in a way ensure that your points of leaking MCQ points that is you know sealed off. So summary of drugs, this is the table. Let's go systematically. Areas to focus: dopamine. It increases cardiac contractility and causes the point I was saying peripheral vasoconstriction above 10 microgram per kg per minute. There is increased risk of arrhythmias at high doses. Then we have epinephrine. Increased heart rate, increased cardiac contractility, potent vasoconstrictor, but causes decreased renal perfusion at high doses. So you can add low-dose dopamine to some patients. Increased myocardial oxygen consumption happens and arrhythmias can also develop. Then dobutamine, increased cardiac contractility can develop is the effect, peripheral vasodilator it is. Because it is a peripheral vasodilator, so you should avoid if the patient is already hypotensive. And the dose is 1 to 10 microgram per kg per minute. Dobutamine should not exceed 10 microgram per kg per minute. Norepinephrine, potent vasoconstrictor, increases BP, secondary to increase systemic vascular resistance, also increases LV after load. No significant effect on cardiac contractility. And then we have phenylephrine, potent vasoconstriction, can cause sudden hypertension, increases oxygen consumption. It is no longer used in management of shock in children. 